Now with the mother of Kyle Mullen, the Navy SEAL candidate who died in February, just hours after completing the grueling Hell Week training. Amy sat down with Regina Mullen for an exclusive interview. She joins us now. Good morning, Amy. Hey, good morning, George. As you might imagine, Regina Mullen is heartbroken. She spoke with Kyle right after he completed that infamous Hell Week training, and she says he just didn't sound right. But now, nearly two months later, she is searching for answers, and she's demanding change. And I wake up every night thinking of him, thinking of how he died, probably not breathing. Nearly two months after the unexplained death of Navy SEAL candidate Kyle Mullen, his mother Regina is breaking her silence, saying she wants to prevent another family from experiencing the same tragedy. What made Kyle want to be a Navy SEAL? He wanted to be the best of the best, and he really wanted to do it to help save people. The 24-year-old former football player from New Jersey had just completed Hell Week. <laughs> A grueling five and a half sleepless days of underwater and tactical training designed to push SEAL candidates to their physical and mental limits. Get in the mud! Those who drop out during Hell Week or ring the bell have to wait two years to try again. Kyle made it through. He sent me a text, Hell Week secured. I saw it and I call him and he says, I did it, Mom. And he was so happy, and I heard him out of breath, and I said, Kyle, are you okay? Are you hurt? Are you in a hospital? And he just responded, don't worry, Mom. I'm good. I love you. And he hung up. And then I texted him immediately, you don't sound good. And I never heard from him again. The last words he said were, I love you, Mom. I love you, Mom. But you knew as a mom and as a nurse that he didn't sound good? It was just his breathing. He could, it was difficult for him to form the words with the airflow. It sounded labored. He couldn't breathe properly. So how did you find out that he had died? Saturday morning, around 8-something, there was a knock on my door, and I saw people in white suits at my door. And I opened the window. I said, is he in the hospital? They said, no, ma'am. They said, can we come in? And I let them in, and I said, he's not coming home, is he? And they said, no, ma'am, he's not coming home. At the time, the Navy released a statement saying Mullen and another sailor had reported symptoms and were taken to the hospital. The other sailor recovered. Mullen's death is now under investigation, and no official cause of death has been released. Regina believes her son was abandoned right when he was most in need. I'm told that the medical team was let go at 12 noon, and someone was on call, and they didn't answer. Have you gotten any real explanation from any official about what happened to Kyle? No. I don't have any autopsy results. They're investigating it. And they tell you, they say, that's all they say. You've got to be frustrated. Mm hmm But as a nurse, what do you believe happened to your son? I believe he, they laid him flat, and he had sipe, and he most likely couldn't breathe, and he probably suffocated from his own bodily fluids. Sipe stands for swimming-induced pulmonary edema, fluid buildup in the lungs without choking on water. The majority of cases clear up within 48 hours, but in rare cases can be deadly. Regina says Kyle had been treated for Sipe during training in January. During Hell Week, NCIS investigators told her Kyle was treated with oxygen twice, including on the day he died. And even during the process, my son was telling me, it's discouraged to say I need to go to the medical. He said he, they wouldn't let him go to medical unless you quit and ring the bell. Kyle didn't want to ring the bell? No. No. He would rather die trying. But this case, he didn't die trying. He got through it and he completed it and there was no medical. There was no medical support there for him or he'd be alive today. I do believe that. We've heard it many times, no one left behind. And I think, unfortunately, you know, Kyle was left behind in this situation. Regina says when she flew out to California after her son's death, a commander told her Kyle had twice been offered medical treatment, but he refused. At that point, I said, he doesn't know what day of the week it is. He hasn't slept in five days. How can he make that determination? And I said to him, where was your medical team? Where were they? What did he say? I don't really get an answer. The Naval Special Warfare Command told ABC News in a statement that all candidates receive head-to-toe medical evaluations, including a full set of core vitals a minimum of once a day and as required throughout the week, as well as upon conclusion of the assessment event. What does the Navy need to do to prevent this from happening again? 
have someone standing with just a stethoscope. That's it. He just needs someone to care about his condition when he came off before he went to go lay down and go to sleep. That's it. A medical professional with a stethoscope could have prevented this. What would you say to any of the Navy officials who are watching this right now? They need better training, they need better monitoring, and this could never, ever happen again. No mother should ever have to feel my pain that I have. Now, Regina said her son had a journal where he wrote, complete the mission, take care of your men. And she feels like her son was not taken care of. Now, in a statement, the Navy says multiple independent investigations are ongoing into the circumstances surrounding Kyle's death. And until those investigations are complete, they say it is inappropriate to speculate on the cause of death or contributing factors. But this is so, so beyond heartbreaking. Oh, it really is. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Amy. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.